Saturday morning, everybody. This is Chuck Schultz with Patriot Builders and Michigan Sawmill Sales. Welcome back to the channel. This is video number five of our custom post frame home uh, document. And we are at the insulation stage. So before we get, cover up the walls and it goes to the same old, same old process of construction, I want to uh, let you see what we're doing here. Um, I didn't get a chance to come in here and shoot a little bit of a video of our spray foam contractor actually spraying our spray foam in the walls, uh, but lucky enough we're here now. They just finished up. Their cleanup uh, is underway, and so it's a little dirty in here, but uh, hey, we want to make an omelet. we got to break a few eggs, so obviously we'd like to have had the place all nice and swept up spick and span, but it's going to be that way in a matter of about two hours, so we got to do the video now. So, with further ado, I want to introduce Mike Glass, owner of CU Construction. He's out of Byron, Michigan, and you know if you guys are in the area, uh, he, I'm sure he travels a little bit of a distance around there. But I want to introduce you to Mike and have him explain in his own words and his expertise on our spray foam insulation package. So. Um, I'm gonna flip the camera around. Well, actually, no. What the hell? Here we are, Mike. Here we are. So, can you speak about a little bit of what we're doing here? Um, Absolutely. You... So, first off, working with uh, Chuck here is always a, a great opportunity to work with a contractor that has uh, foresight and cares about every phase of the project. So, when we come in here and insulate, we're using a open cell spray foam insulation, and we're spraying against. Uh, house wrap over a steel sided exterior purlin and we have a interior frame wall giving us an air gap so when we insulate these walls we're getting a nice thermal break throughout all of the construction which is a great way to stop that transfer of heat can i pause you right there yeah so with that thermal break in a normal house what happens we have solid material in connection with the inside of the airspace and the outside air Correct. So what happens in that case? What I mean, and a normal studded wall. Uh, a normal studded wall on those colder days, you could actually see the frost lines on the outside where the the moisture collects because that stud is so much colder than the rest of the the, the mass cavity where the insulation is. So this thermal break gives you a very even resistance to heat transfer because it's insulated behind these studs and stopping that break. Cool. Good point, and uh, and you know what? We didn't do that by purpose when we started going into the post frame phase when I first started looking into doing these about 10 years ago. And it just was an accidental kind of bonus on how we do our exterior wall package. Um, and I only found that out because when we do our blower door test, mm -hmm. the blower door contractor that comes and performs that was so excited at how it performed after you insulated the house right. you do a very good job and he wanted it he asked me if he could do it again and take his thermal image camera in there and then that's when we realized what we did by accident mm -hmm. had another performance value opposed to a stud regular studded framed wall with plywood on the outside yeah the flare gun to see that imaging is, is such a confidence builder when you see how well it does. Right. Because you can't, you, you see exactly how well that's insulated when you drag that across and you can spot outlets or windows and you can see how well the mass right. cavity is insulated. It so, goes a long ways. And also in doing these, we, we had learned a little bit along the way and you've actually stepped up the game by doing even further weatherization in the lid of the ceiling mm -hmm. for every single penetration. You guys take that extra step and seal every single opening. Yeah, part even of part of uh, getting that blower door test and, 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 and sealing this up to the best it could be and allowing everything else in the house to perform accurately, we go, we go through the lid and we, uh, we seal every gap and crack and any of the ductwork that comes through just to try and make it so we can control this environment, whether it's the temperature or the moisture, which is just as important. And then from there, we put a an R50 silo ceiling in, which is kind of the sweet spot where you know you get the most performance and it's it's cost effective using the cellulose and it goes a long ways. Awesome. 
So we do spend a little money on insulating value of our homes when, you know, I, I really stress that to my homeowners that allow us to spend money where it counts. And insulation is something, you know, when we do this, you know, between Mike and I, when we, when we start doing a project here, you know, it's about cost of ownership. And this is one way we can really reduce the cost of ownership for years to come. And one other thing I want to point out is that, you know, we try to use trades that are true real tradesmen, you know, masters of their craft. Uh, everybody makes mistakes. They happen from time to time, but we're always here to look over our backs, look over our shoulders. And, and this time of year in Michigan, we actually, to do the insulation with the spray foam, we got to have heat in here. So we have to have lids put in, you know, the drywaller has to come in two separate times to hang the drywall just so we can insulate properly before we blow this foam. Because if somebody does it wrong, that's actually catastrophic for the health of the home too, right? That's right, yeah. So Having um, substrates and, and ambient temperature that works for the foam, it takes a lot of conscious effort to prepare this, to do it in this manner, but it absolutely pays off in the long run. So I want to point one thing out why, you know, like, like why we use CU construction for all of our insulation. Now, you're a general contractor. Mm -hmm. You do a multiple of different things. Your niche is spray foam and insulation, Correct. but he's a talented contractor in all other areas. We can sometimes say we're competitors for all intents and purposes, but at the same time, you know, we're always gonna help each other out. We're always gonna work for each other and everything else. But I'm gonna flip the camera around and now I'm gonna walk over here. This is something that CU Construction does on our behalf, like this ceiling, particularly over the kitchen here, didn't need to be hung to trap the heat because we weren't insulating the deck above up in this area because the ceiling on the upstairs above this is lidded for insulation. So we missed a step by informing the drywall contractor this particular ceiling did not need to be hung, but they did it anyway, which is fine. These guys got the head on their shoulders to make sure that our bonds are insulated, so they cut it out and did it anyway, and we know that. I mean, it's it's one of those things. He looks over our shoulders, we look over their shoulders, and that's kind of the practice of what we want to do in our construction. And here's another area where he's like, well, maybe this wasn't done, and sure enough, the drywallers innocently just doing what they're told, they came in and made sure that bond was um, insulated. So. Do you, Mike, do you have a website or anything that, you know, people can contact you on if they're um, in the area? And for the most part, I, I've been word of mouth for about 12 years now, all uh, referral based, but you can find me at CU Construction on Facebook. Uh, you'll see a little bit of insulation work and there'll be a couple of new builds in there, but most of my work is insulation these days. Okay, I'll so try to see. put in the memo. Uh, an email or something that people can contact you with if they yeah. have their own project. Maybe you're doing your own build, maybe you're doing your own post frame and you want a good contractor to go and insulate it properly and has done I, the word barn dominium but post frame home before and <coughs> knows how to do it well. So I want to say thanks Mike Absolutely. and uh, thanks for talking to us about how the homes are insulated and the performance values of them and uh, Hope everybody has a good weekend, and uh, till the next video, we'll see you later. Thanks.